So today we're going to be tying this Cricut pattern. We're going to be starting off uh, using a size 10 streamer hook. We're going to start off with some black UTC thread. Start up by the iron worker way back just to lay down a layer of thread so our foam will have something to glue on to later. And go on ahead and trim off that end. We're going to get a triangular shaped piece of black two millimeter foam here. We'll take one of the ends, bind that down. That's going to be kind of like our wing casing later on in the fly. This pattern is really made up of a lot of different cricket patterns that I've seen. Um, specifically, uh, lots of it's coming from Davy McPhail's Davy's Cricket. Now I'm just going to take some this here is some Phoenix Peacock style dubbing. I'm just gonna add a th just a tiny amount here to my thread. I'm really just using it to uh, build up a little dubbing ball uh, right there at the end. And on either side, go ahead and add two goose, black goose biots. That ball thread just helps to prop those out on either side. So go ahead and bind those biots down. Make sure everything's lining up here. And then go ahead and trim off the extra. ends bound down. And then just fold that over to make sure everything lines up straight. Now I'm going to take a two millimeter uh, same black foam and I cut a really long strip here. So it's almost a square piece of foam. I'm going to tie that in. This is really just used to bulk up the body of our fly. Uh, crickets are pretty compact little buggers. They're definitely not long and skinny. Uh, so this really benefits with a little bit of super glue, uh, which I'm gonna put down here on the thread that wraps and also up along our piece of foam just to keep everything together and bound down. So I'm going to start by just taking wraps, starting off thin and trying to build, build up bulk as I go ahead. Um, really that super glue on that back side of the foam really helps keep this body stuck together. What we're really trying to do is just build up bulk here in the middle for our fly. We want to end leaving a little space uh, before the eye of the hook where we'll add our head and legs in later. So after you get that wrapped on, go ahead and take a few thread wraps to get that bound down. clip off that extra foam we have and just go ahead and tidy everything up here with my thread. Just taping, taking wraps back and forth to get that foam nice and secure. Now what we're gonna do is bring over this triangular shape of foam that we had and go ahead and lock that down over the top. Take a few loose wraps and then really tighten that down to form the, 
uh, wing case of our fly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this extra foam up here just with my scissors. Being careful not to cut my tying thread. And that's about as close as I dare get. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trap that, bind that down and clean it up. Stopping with my thread right before the hook eye. I'm gonna get another piece of black foam. This is a rectangular piece of black foam that I've kind of stretched at one end. Uh, it's about as wide as this, the hook gap and it's going to be form our head. I just took one end and stretched it down and that's what I used to tie in right here. And we're going to pull it over later. Um, I'm going to take two black pheasant tail fibers here that can be used as our antenna. Go ahead and tie those in right now. off. Another thing you can also do is then work your thread in front of our head foam and build up a little th dam up there to prop up those antenna a little bit more. But after that we're going to add a little bit more of that peacock dubbing. Build up the bulk for our head right here. I'll take a few wraps And then with our thread right there, because we're going to add in a couple of legs. Uh, here for the back legs, I'm just adding in uh, pieces of some black uh, legs I have here. Get those tied down and situated. And do the same with the other side. I made these legs just with the uh, two pieces of these black rubber legs that I tied in a knot and then just trimmed one of the ends off so it's just a single back leg coming down. To get those legs tied in, I'm going to go ahead and fold over the foam to form the head, take a couple wraps to bind that down. I'm going to go ahead and trim that foam in the back here. Just, just add to the wing case. Go ahead and trim our rubber legs on each side. Now I'm just going to add in a piece of fire orange uh, egg yarn here just to add, add a nice colorful post so you can see it easier in the water. Go ahead and trim that up nicely. And just to finish the fly I'm just going to finish with a few turns of a whip finish. Being careful not to get anything trapped in there. trim off our excess thread and here you have the finished bighorn cricket. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.